Today's garage cooking challenge is going to be a uh, peasant pot pie. So ingredients for that are going to include celery, potatoes, onions, peas. You add some butter, carrots, some flour to thicken the gravy a little bit, spices, uh, pheasant broth from a previous bird, and this is the pheasant. You have to transport them either with a, uh, a wing, the head, or a leg on because only male birds are allowed to be harvested. And so what I'm going to do is cut the pheasant up, get the parts I'm going to use for the pot pie, and I'll put them in this pot. And then this other pressure cooker here, I'm going to take the remainder of the carcass, cut it up in pieces, and put it in there and, and pressure cook it down to make broth for the future and uh, uh, I will pick the carcass uh, clean and that will give me a, a little pile of pheasant bits that you can make into uh, pheasant salad, add some celery and apple and it's great in a sandwich. I've cut the meat off the carcass. This is the uh, breast with fillets removed. These are the lower part of the legs which I pressure cook to pick the meat off later because they have little stays in them that are like needles and this is the back. So that will go in the pressure cooker and uh, will produce the uh, broth that I will use in future times. The pheasant meat itself comes out as two breasts, two thighs, and the breasts are a two-piece muscle like all birds have. This is the inner muscle and then the outer muscle. And so these two I'm going to keep separate and I will cook them as uh, chicken fingers. I'm going to take one breast and cut it across the grain and make chicken fingers that we will have uh, separate from the pot pie. So these I'll set aside and cook later and then I'll cut this meat up and then brown it in this pan. Ready for the next phase. The meat's all cut up. I added some more meat because we didn't have enough. Uh, grease the pan. The ingredients are going to go in. We're going to sear the meat, take it back out, cook the onions and celery, uh, add some spices to it, put the meat back in the pan, add some butter and flour, put the liquid in, pheasant broth, and top it off with this as much as we need. And then these are the carrots and potatoes and peas that we're going to complete it. So I will get the meat going. And once it's coming out, I'll come back. All right, the meat's coming along. The timer just rang for the uh, 20 minutes on the pressure cooker, so I will let that cool down with a natural release. Taking the meat out. Lost a bit there. Past the five second rule, so it can't go back in the stew, but I can eat it. All right, then I will add the onion and celery with the meat out and cook them down. I turn the heat down some. I need a little more oil. do this for a bit. All right, I just put in the spices, which is salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and some poultry seasoning. I'm going to take a break here, eat this celery. Donnie, you want any salad? Oh no, I ate my salad in the garage. Meat goes back in. Then we'll add the butter. The next thing that goes in is this flour.
and it looked like too much to me, but Rhonda said no, that's the right amount, three tablespoons or so, to start making the gravy, and then you put the liquid in, and you keep it moving so it doesn't get lumpy. So here comes the flour. A little colder in the garage today, we got some snow. Now I add the liquid. We'll go with that, see what it does for a bit. And that's starting to make uh, pot pie gravy right there. And I'm going to turn the camera off so I can get some professional advice on how much more liquid. Okay, we added some more salt. We put in about two cups worth of uh, chicken broth to add to the pheasant broth. And then I will be adding the vegetables. Stir them in. And this is the insides of the pot pie and we'll bring out the pie crust topping put it on here and then we'll put it in the oven now the meat's all cooked probably the pacing item here is going to be the carrots and potatoes getting done probably take 30 or 40 minutes okay here's the pie crust the oven is heating up with the incredible skill she has to talk to a moron i've been instructed on how to do this and then to allow the steam to escape, we need to poke holes in it, which you could do with a minigun or you could use a fork. I think that'll work. Uh oh, not pretty. Gotta be pretty. Okay, it's ready to go cook now. Here we are. It's done baking. We'll see how it turned out. Looks pretty good. So that's a uh, pheasant pot pie and the garage cooking challenge. Here's what it looks like served. It's going to be great.